A stranger from a foreign land finds himself an outsider with views at class with the society of the nation he has volunteered to defend as his own. Hello, and thank you for watching today's episode of That Should Be a Movie. Today's story that I'd like to recommend to be a movie is Patrick Quaburn, a graphic novel by Justin Murphy from Rampart Press. Quaburn is a unique character in American history. An Irish immigrant who became a logger in Arkansas, he went on to become the Confederacy's Stonewall of the West, a meteor signing Riley in what was a dark theater of the war for the South. While not the only Confederate officer or Southerner to advocate for the enlistment of slaves in the Confederate Army in exchange for their freedom, he was the most vocal, writing a proposal and sending it to the president of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis. His career and reputation suffered, yet he fought on, and the South eventually put his plan into effect. However, too late to secure Southern independence. The book, Claiborne, a graphic novel, starts off at the Battle of Chattanooga and covers Claiborne's feats and those of his men from Regal Gap to the five tragic hours at Franklin, Tennessee. It has political thrills and intrigue as Claiborne's radical ideas clash with those of his enemies in his own adopted nation. It has romantic interest in his relationship with Susan Carlington and human interest in his interactions with General Forrest, Hiram, Hood, Brown, and a German boy and an African-American man who works for the Confederate Army. I believe that Claiborne deserves the Braveheart treatment, not just because he was an honorable man, but because modern audiences need to be reminded that history is often more complicated than we think, and that not all men who fought under a flag the modern sensibilities associate with racism were cartoon villains. I think some subplots the film can include could be the Chinese Confederates who fought Franklin. If I was casting, I would cast Kristen Bell as Quaver, since they look eerily alike. Ronald F. Maxwell, Louis Scott, or Randall Wallace would make great directors, with John Toll as the ideal DP. A fascinating story about an honorable man who audiences need to remember is what makes Claiborne a graphic novel, a book that should be a movie. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment below which character you think should play a historical character.